Alright, this is Johan from AppsFresh.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the uh, text font for all of the graphical assets. Okay, this is the don't crash, the, uh, don't crash on the spike source code. Now, obviously, what I'm going to show you works for any other source code. So, let me show you what else do you have to change. You see these numbers right here? We need to change that. We need to change the numbers that are in the background right here as well. And this is done through the code. It's actually very simple. So let me show you how to do that. All right. So go to uh, your source code and look for the, the project info tab. Okay. And right here, you see a font provided by application. Okay. So right here, it already says square.ttf font. Okay. So we're going to add a TTF file for the font. How do we do that? Pretty simple. Just go to your web browser. Okay. And right here so let me give you let me show you the uh, the actual okay there we go right here i'm going to go to dafont.com and i'm going to download the file that i want okay and i'm going to look right here in the search make it smaller so it's easier for you to see right right here i'm going to look for the flappy bird font okay flappy bird Okay, so that's one of them. So what do I do? I just click on download, but you have to look at what it says. It says free for personal use. So I don't want to use this one, okay? Because it's only for personal use and not for commercial use. So I'm going to look for another font, okay? Right now, just uh, bird for now, okay? Let's see. Okay. And as you can say, this say this free for personal use, so I'm not going to use them, but this one says 100% free, so I'm going to use this one, okay? It's not exactly what I wanted, but that will do for now, just for the sake of showing you. Click on download. All right, and here goes the font. I'm going to extract it. Okay, and as you can see, there's plenty of them. So I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to remove the last three uh, underscore so to make it easier um, to to uh, to read and I'm gonna double click here okay and install font okay so now I'm gonna have the font install install inside of inside of my uh, my um, computer all right here we go okay so now what I'm gonna do is go back here take the birdo file and I'm gonna drag and drop it to Xcode okay so I'm going to open Xcode and right here I'm going to drag and drop it. So I'm going to take it and just drag it in the resources folder right here. Okay. All right. Now it's going to ask me if I want to copy the file. Say yes. Copy and add it to target. Finish. Okay. So now I do have the file right here. So what I'm going to do is just copy the name and go back to the project. And right here under info, I'm going to add it to the font provided by the application. Okay. So I'm going to click on plus right here. That's going to add an item. Okay. And I'm going to just paste the name of it, birdo.ttf. All right. Now, what you have to remember is that the name of the file is Birdman. So that's the one, that's the one you need to use. Okay. So the actual font name is Birdman. Okay. So I'm going to go to global.h file and here it says define font name and replace that with Birdman. Okay, make sure you just put it the same way as it is here, Birdman. All right, okay, so now what you gotta do is a product clean and then a product build, okay? Or just run, or click on the run right here. Okay, so it's gonna take all the files now and compile them together with the new font, okay? So you might have to play with the font size because depending on which font you use, some font size are bigger than others. If you wanna play with the font size, I'll show you exactly where it is, okay? Meanwhile, this is launching. Okay, so let's play and see. And as you can see now, the background right here is different. We have a different font here. So as you can see, it's a bit too big because it goes around the circle. So we're going to have to reduce the size. That's pretty simple. As you can see here, the points are also changed. You see the color here, it changed. And here too. So we're going to have to put the, the font size a little bit smaller. That's no problem. Just go to the uh, gameplay layer.mm file and all the way at the top, you will see a font size, okay? So it's at uh, 130, I'm going to put 100, okay? And just run that, okay?
and that should be a, a lot better now. Let's uh, let's play and see. All right. Now, as you can see, it actually fits. So so far so good. Let me die to see the other one. Perfect. Okay. Here it needs to be adjusted a little bit because it's touching it, but it's okay because I'm going to work on the best score um, best score font as well. Okay. So let me show you how to work on the text also. Or let's say don't crash the on the spikes. I'm going to show you how to do that with Photoshop. Okay. You can do that with also Sumo Paint. Sumo Paint dot com. It's online or with uh, GIMP.org software, all right? So what I'm going to do is look for the uh, texture folder, right-click, and do Show in Finder. And uh, right here, I want to go inside of my GUI and look for the title, okay? And here is the title. I'm going to right-click and do Open with Adobe Photoshop, okay? Now, my Photoshop was already open, so I'm going to close it because if it's already open, it's not going to get the new font that we just installed, okay? The Burman font that I installed. So you need to close Photoshop first, okay? And now I'm going to right-click and open with Adobe Photoshop. So make sure you have to close the application before using it. So it can take into account the new font, all right? So here we go. Now what I'm going to do is uh, create a new text. So I'm going to click on the text tool, okay? And right here, I'm going to start writing with a bigger font, let's say 200 points, don't crash on the spikes. Okay, we can't see much, but what I'm going to do is um, change the color. Okay, I'm going to use, uh, let's say, a grayish color. Okay, here it is. I'm going to move it. Command T to make it smaller. Okay, and as you can see, right now, we're not using the right text font. I'm removing the layer in the back, and I'm going to use the right text font, which is called Birdman. Okay, so look for it. Here we go, Birdman. All right, so there we go. Still a bit too big, so I'm going to remove, it. I'm going to change the size. Okay, there we go. I'm going to move it. All right, and I'm going to save this. Okay. All right, actually, just for the sake of this, I'm just going to save it with the right resolution so we can see it on our screen. Just uh, the one that I'm testing right now. Save. OK, it's uh, right here. And the name is going to be FB-HD for the iPhone. OK, replace. So now we changed one. And I'm going to go back to Xcode, and obviously you need to do a product clean, and then you need to run it again, okay? So now we should see the new font on the text of the title, or the logo, however you want to call it. Let's see. Let's close this, and there you go, we have our new title. So obviously you need to do that for the rest. For the tab to jump, you can change that or keep this one. You can apply any fonts you want, let me die just to show you. So we have the new ones here as well, but we need to change the points and the replay and the rate. But it's that easy, okay? You just open these image files and replace that with the right texture. All right, thank you for watching. If you have any question, please contact info at appsfresh.com. Thank you.